Hi, I'm Steve, and I'm going to take you through the detective cards in Agatha Christie's Death on the Cards. So, all the detective cards work in basically the same way. Their goal is to be played in sets and reveal a secret in front of another player, but they all have a slight variation. So let's go through them and see how they differ. The first one we're going to look at is, of course, Miss Marple herself. Now, she's very powerful and requires three to be played in a set. Most of the other detectives just require two. But Miss Marple, it's three. Now, the advantage of her is that she allows you to pick the secret card that you want revealed. Otherwise, normally, the player who you're picking on, they can reveal whichever one they want. And if they're the murderer, they're going to leave that murderer card to the last one. This allows you a chance to maybe get a little bit lucky and reveal that you're the murderer card. Hercule Poirot does the same thing. Three cards allows you to select that secret card. Next up, we have Lady Eileen Bundle Brent. She requires two cards to be played in a set, and of course she reveals a secret. But with her Eileen Bundle Brent set, if it's cancelled by a not so fast card, you get to return these cards back into your hand. So that's quite useful. Next is uh, Tommy and Tuppence Beresford. Now, these can be played separately, so I could play two Tommies, or I could play two Tuppences, but they're a double act. So if I played a Tommy and a Tuppence together, then this cannot be cancelled by a not so fast you fiend card. So that's quite strong too. Now there's a couple of very different detectives. The first is Ariadne Oliver. Ariadne is only played as an addition to an existing set. So if another player has Hercule Poirot in front of them, I can add Ariadne Oliver to that set. What this does is it makes Ariadne work against the person who holds that detective set. They have to reveal a secret of their choice. So that's a little bit more different. The other is Harley Quinn. Now he's a wild card. So say I didn't have enough Miss Marples in my hand and I wanted to play that out. I only had two, but I need three. I can fill in the gap with Harley Quinn. Next is Mr. Satterthwaite. Again, Mr. Satterthwaite, we played in a set of two, but say I pair him up with Harley Quinn, then whichever secret card the other player reveals, I get to take and add to my secrets face down. The final detective is Parker Pine. Now, he doesn't actually reveal secrets. What he does is, if played in a set, is allows you to take any secret that's face up on the table and turn it back face down. This is a great way of bringing someone who's in social disgrace back into the game. Because if they're in social disgrace, you know they're not the murderer. You probably want them on the side. That's all the detectives. If you want to find out how the overall game plays, check out that video. We've also got another one about setting up the deck.